Alright guys, so today I have a very, very cool and interesting car trick to show you. Um, I'm not going to be showing you the actual part where he reverses the time. I'm not really sure how he does that. I assume he has backstage help. But if you guys want to learn how to do the car trick portion, that is something I think I'm more than qualified to kind of give you an idea uh, about what he's doing. So if you guys want to stick around and watch the car trick video, don't forget to subscribe. And um, here, I'll show you guys how to do it. Okay, so I'm not going to go... Um, back and forth between his video on the uh, on the TV show and then mine because it's, it's very simple this trick I think um, essentially he has what's called an invisible deck here and this deck I, I'll leave a link down below if you guys are interested in buying one after the I show you what to do but basically he just has this special deck where any card the spectator names looks like it's the only face down card so I mean you can spread between all these different cards and each one has a card attached to it um, in this case, this is going to be the uh, the nine of clubs here, but it's it's a simple deck where you can make it look like one card is reversed, and then you can show it to the spectators, and it looks really really fantastic, right? So this is what he does to Simon. So he begins the trick by going up to the two guys, the backstage guys, and says, "Okay, look, I'm going to stick a card um, in the middle of this deck. Okay, it's going to be a random card. All right, and he shoves it in there." He goes up to Simon and all the different judges, he starts the trick and he explains to Simon, okay, I want you to think of a card. And then they begin by just mixing up the deck, right? And he says, okay, you can mix it up any way you want. He splits the deck up. The bottom line is he wants the spectators to think that the entire deck is jumbled up, right? Now, once all the cards, once they're all jumbled up, um, essentially what he's going to do is from this point, he has to do a deck switch, right? So he leaves the cards on top of the table and whatnot. And he says, okay, judges, let's go see if anybody has a phone. So he reaches into his back pocket. He puts his phone on the table. Let's pretend I don't have my phone. He puts his phone on the table with one hand, grabs the deck with the other hand. And if you guys actually watch closely, he kind of, he kind of fumbles the cards a little bit and Simon's watching him. And the cameras do a good job at cutting away and not letting the audience see you know, what he's doing. Because if the cameras were watching him, I'm sure you'd be, you'd be able to catch a little more. But this is when he switches this deck, this is a normal deck with normal cards, and he switches that for um, the invisible deck over here. So if you guys have an invisible deck at home, what I would do is, you know, you show your, your audience here, whatever, whoever you're performing the trick to, you show them these cards, and you already want to have a mental note of which cards are on top for your invisible deck. So in this case, I have the Queen of Diamonds. What you could do is look through the deck and show the spectators, you know, okay, look, all the cards, you know, are jumbled up. And then you can kind of cut the deck. And this way, when you do a deck switch, you'll already have the Queen of Diamonds up on one end. And on the other end, you'll have a King of Diamonds. So even if the spectators, you know, they might not notice the difference between a King and a Queen. You'll see what I'm saying. But anyways, you have the deck on the table. He does a simple deck switch. Uh, deck switch. He takes one deck. He, you know, goes into his pocket or something and then grabs out the invisible deck. So at this point... And the trick, he's left with his invisible deck. So from here, he wants to, again, explain to the spectators um, how mixed up the deck is. So what he's doing is just spreading all the cards. And if you look at it, he's going very quickly and just spreading like this, making it look like all the cards, you know, are are kind of separated. My, my deck is a little bit more sticky than his was, but essentially he goes, he shows the, all the cards here, and he's just spreading all of them like this. And if you look, it, it really is every other card. Um, is face up, face down. So that's kind of where I figured out, okay, you know what, I think he's just using um, an invisible deck. Okay, so this is why it's kind of important to have on either side of your invisible deck, you want to have um, the same style of cards. So in this case, I have, you know, the Queen of Diamonds as well as the King of Diamonds because you're going to, okay, so this is the phone. We can get that out of here. He gives the, uh, the cards over to one of the judges. He has her hold it in their hand like this. And while everybody's looking at their cards, um, at this point, you know, it looks like you have a jumbled up, mixed up deck in, in the spectator's hand. And he says, okay, Simon, you know, what was your card? And the card could truly be any card in the deck because you have an invisible deck, right? So if you go through and, you know, let's say a spectator at random just picks this card here. It's too random. Okay. So you have a card like the seven of uh, diamonds, right? So immediately, you know, the, he's thinking of the, uh, the six of spades and I think this is going to be even. So, or actually the six of clubs, right? So he's looking for the six of clubs and he goes through and he actually has the deck reversed so um, the spectators can see it. But essentially what you're doing is you're looking for that matched up card. In this case, he says, look, all the cards have actually rearranged themselves. Can somebody grab a card? And it just so happens to be, you know, the same card as whatever they picked. So 
It's a pretty simple trick. It just involves an invisible deck as well as some sleight of hand, a little bit of misdirection, no doubt, but it's definitely not impossible to do. So if you guys like this video, um, you guys can go down to the link below and you can purchase your own invisible deck and whatnot. Um, but that's just the video. I just want to give you a quick idea of, you know, how he did it, whatnot. If you guys have any other suggestions or any other ideas, don't forget to leave those in the comments. And um, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Mm-hmm.